What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, guys, we're discussing Berea and where I see this ticker heading from here now. Now, this is a stop which is up over 90% in the pre market or in the after hours, guys, today, <coughs> based on some major news which they dropped. Psych, they didn't drop any news. There's no news. There's no news. It's up 90% with no news. There's no news. There's not a single reason this stock should be up. Okay, there's literally a, there's not a single reason. Okay, I'm telling you, like, there's not a, there's no, there's no reason. There's no reason for the stock to be up 90% in the after hours. There's absolutely none, right? And this is the problem, right? This is the problem. And many of you might have a position in Bre Brea right now. And this goes to show that you're trading wrong, right? You're trading wrong and you're making the most basic mistake that every single day trader makes when they first begin. Thinking that just because a stock is up, it's going to continue going up. No, 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 no. The first thing you want to do is find a stock that is moving. So good job. You're on the right path. You're on, you're, 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 you're getting it. You're almost there. But after you find the stock that's moving, you need to figure out why is it moving? Is it moving because there's a new change of CEOs? Is it moving because of good earnings? Is it moving because, you know, they announced the shares buyback? Is it moving because they announced some new filing? Is it moving because they freaking cured cancer? Is it moving because they got an FDA approval? Is it moving because... They, you know, they're being bought out. Is it moving? Because why is it moving? Why is it moving? Why? Right? If there is no catalyst, this is what we call a convictionless rally. Okay? Meaning that the stock with that's going up has no backbone. Okay? It's got no, it's got no reason to be there. It's got no pride. Alright? There's no reason for it to be going up. The only reason it's going up is because people like you are getting tricked into buying it, right? You buy it, it keeps going up higher. Oh, someone else buy it, it keeps going up. It's it's just based on the bigger fool theory. If you don't know what the bigger fool theory is, the stock market is player versus player, right? When you make money, someone else loses money. When you lose money, someone else took your money, okay? When you buy at the top, someone sold the shares to you at the top. When you buy the perfect dip, someone panic sold and they gave you their shares, okay? Now, the greater fool theory is there's just someone stupider than you that is going to buy the shares higher because there's no intrinsic value to this company for it to be up 90% in after hours. We're seeing a lot of this dumb shit in the markets right now. A lot of it. Now, does this mean that you don't go ahead and, you know, capitalize on it? Pretty much yes. Pretty much yes. Now, mind you, in our own community, right? We did play, um, what's, what's the ticker called? That one, that one freaking bananas. Drug. We did play drug yesterday and we made a killing. Okay? And drug really had no freaking catalyst at all. But it was going crazy, so we used the volatility to jump on. Right? But after a certain point, a stock's volatility and price action causes all the investors to tune in. And that becomes its own freaking thing to pay attention to. However, when it comes to Bria, it's not there yet. And with this dump that we got here, it's not looking good, guys. It's not now. It is sitting at a support level, I must say. I do see it coming back up and testing a dollar fifty again, which is good news, right? And maybe even who knows? Maybe even getting back to the two dollar level. Maybe even testing the two dollar levels. But I don't see the stock being above two dollars, guys. I I don't see it, right? And um, you know, again, it's a conviction that's rally, man. It's running based on nothing. It's running because people are pressing buy because it's going up. When people are buying a stock because it's going up, what do you think the same people are going to do when it starts coming down? Are they going to buy the dip? Or are they going to panic sell and sell because now it's coming down? Spoiler alert, they're going to panic sell and sell because it's going down. Right? Guys, you need to know when to buy these tickers. I'm telling you, man, you need to know when to buy these tickers. You need to be early. You need to know, not early, you need to be on time. Okay? You need to know which ones to buy, which ones to not buy. Now, if you're a new trader who is having trouble becoming profitable and is losing money every day to the market, I highly suggest giving us a shot at Top Trade Academy. Right now, we have a seven day free trial, okay? And it also comes with a 30 days money back guarantee. What I would do is I would give the seven day free trial a shot. Then, if I like it, I would stay. Then, if I change my mind within the first month, I would just ask for a refund, okay? I do that all the time with random shit, right? At least the seven day free trial part I do, okay? Where I join something, I see, mm, is it worth it or not? And I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to love it, man. Because we have over 200 members coming back month after month after month. Why? Why are they doing that? Because they're making money. 
No one keeps coming back if they're not making money from the community. Today we trade VS, okay? We made a killing on VS. Um, this was literally Friday. Friday, Kelly says, not expecting anything because of the FM flu. This community is awesome. Thank you, killing trading his life, right? Shout out. Uh, Wilson says, thank you, Sam. Uh, hi, Sam. Literally check the date. It's 11th, right? It's like three, four days ago. Uh, thank you for your hard work in the community. My seven day free trial finished. I think I can afford the membership now. Shout out to the boy, man. Right? And um, this just goes on and on. This is literally today, this morning. We made a killing on um, VS, right? We had multiple VS trades. We also had a fun trade, right? We played fun. Okay, shout out my boy. Brought in 300, 300 bucks on Funware. As you guys can see, we also have optional alerts. As you guys can see, we have day trade alerts. We have swing alerts. We have option alerts. We have it all, man. We have it all, okay? 26% on Puma Blue uh, or on VS for Puma Blue. And, and a swing trade. Uh, Andy says, thanks, Sam. Swing trade on VS. We killed it, right? And then second trade, we took a second trade on VS. This is what our alerts look like in case you guys are wondering what they look like, guys. We give you, we tell you guys exactly when to buy. We tell you exactly when to sell. We give you the entry, we give you the exit, we give you the stop loss. Sometimes there's no stop loss and we just average down depending on what the play looks like because different plays look like different things, right? Like for example, um, let me show you guys this trade. Example fun, right? Again, I was like, remove stop loss, blah, 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 right? We made a killing on it, it well as well over recovered, okay? So check us out, right? We tell you everything, guys. The entry, the exit, when to buy, when to sell. We have lessons, everything, okay? If you're serious about trading, give it a shot. Seven day free trial. And also right now, the next 10 people that join, how about this? Breaking news, good news, I forgot. Right now, the next 10 people that join get access to it for a 50% discount. So hurry, let's see it, okay? If you're serious, give it us a shot. With that said, my friends, I wish you guys the best of luck, man, whether it's in trading or everyday life. I'm personally staying away from Bria just because of his lack of catalyst. And also another reason, they're broke. What do you mean they're broke, Sam? The company, has two months of cash left on end. You see this? You see this data? You see what it says, guys? The company has 1.8 months of cash left on end based on their 600 cash burn of monthly expenses. And also, there are only $400,000 of cash left on end. I'm staying away, okay? And I think you should do the same thing. Personally speaking, again, not financial advice. I don't know you. Freaking, you know, buy here, sell here, sell here, buy here, buy here, sell here. It's not financial advice. Do what you like. So I wish you guys the best of luck, man, with listening trading of your life. With that said, your boy Sam from Top Trade Academy.